Good evening and welcome to the Thai PBS World One Party, which hasn't finished with the settle of the cabinet post inside the party. It's the Democrat Party, and this long this afternoon they have a long meeting and still hasn't finished. The Democrat Party's executive committee was scheduled to meet at 2 p.m. this afternoon to discuss who among the party members are qualified for the eight posts. The positions offered to the Democrats are 1. Deputy Prime Minister, Commerce Minister and Agriculture Post, Social Development and Human Security Minister for Deputy Minister's Posts for Transport, Interior, Public Health and Education. A well-informed party source said that a group of party members who were closely associated with Mr. Suteb Tuksuban's People's Democratic Reform Committee, which spearheaded the protests against the government of Ying Lak Shinawat, and candidates contesting the party leadership post, won the party list of potential ministers to be reviewed. The source said that the former candidate submitted a letter to party leader Jilin Laksana Risit on June the 6th, proposing a new selection process for the would-be ministers. The selection process must take into account the issue of seniority, fairness, priority for constituency MPs, competency and experience in the administration of the ministries, concerned and gender equality. The source said that the group wanted Mr. Durin to take up only the deputy prime minister's post. A group is also backing Gon Jati Government to head the Ministry of Agriculture and Agricultural Cooperatives, citing the fact that the former finance minister has spent the past five years working at the grassroots level to solve the problems of poverty and agricultural produce. Party Secretary General Chalem Chai Sion, who played a key role in negotiating with the Palang Prasharat Party over cabinet seats, has been tipped to be the Agriculture Minister. Chalem Chai keeps the party informed that the party will have a seminar by the end of this month to among executive members, MPs and party officials the sort mentions that MPs who are supportive of Mr. Suteb will probably use the venue to put more pressure on executive members to press for allocation of ministerial posts. Amidst uncertainty inside the Democrat Party, there is one former member of the De Democrat Party who was former candidate for MP of constituency. Kun Parit Bacharasin, who decided to call it quit after the Democrat Party decided to join the coalition government led by Palang Prasharat Party. I asked him what is his self-reflection on his future and on the Democrat Party at the moment. I also wanted to explain my decision um, because a lot of people will say, oh, there's already been an election, um, there's no more kind of... Um, authoritarian regime in place. But I think what I wanted to point out is that true there is an election, but for an election to be valid within a true democracy, it has to be a free and fair one, which means that all parties must compete on equal footing um, and an equal starting point. And when we look at the little details that have been in place over the past two or three years, we've seen that the rules have not been written, um, uh, have, have, the rules have been written that um, very hard to argue that favors um, a certain political group, um, whether it's kind of the holding of the referendum which did not allow for um, opponents to actually heavily, um, um, openly campaign, whether it's uh, the involvement of 250 senators who I don't think anyone can say uh, are impartial, um, whether it's the interpretation of how to calculate party list MPs which heavily favoured one side compared to the other. So for me, um, if a party like Palang Prasharat is not ready to compete on an equal footing with other political parties, I, mm -hmm. cannot, I cannot say that they, they, hold, they uphold democratic values. And that's why I was unable to support the decision to join up with them in government. Your role, you have asserted that you would like Democrat Party to be constructive opposition. Yes. But right now you cannot do it or the party couldn't really do it through the parliament mechanism. 
what's your role or what do you think you can do as individual person to be constructive opposition? So I think in a way, um, every person within the, um, a democratic system should try to operate as an independent opposition or a constructive opposition. That means that we should all act as watchdogs to try and monitor and assess um, government actions, government policies, laws that are passed to make sure that we hold the government to account. We are used to a system over the past four or five years where there's no opposition in parliament, um, voicing opposition outside parliament have also been relatively restricted. Um, I think right now is a good place for, for, for the people to be, who are undeniably more aware of what's going on in politics um, nowadays are much more, um, I, I, I want to say, excited to follow what's, what's happening um, to, to, try and, to try and continue to assess the performance of not just the government but also their local MPs. So I think for me that's, that's kind of one, one role that I would like to play um, just as a, as a member of the, of, the, of the Thai population to continually try to assess and, and provide my own view, my own criticism, my own assessment of what the government is doing.